Scott, thank you so much for joining us. Now, you have done something that few people could only ever dream of. Being in space for that extended period of time, what kind of personality traits and skill sets are important to have as an astronaut if you're going to be in space? You know, the big ones, uh, teamwork, you know, being able to work and uh, get along with your fellow crewmates, uh, you know, leadership, depending on what, what, what position you are in, uh, you know, being a good follower. I think uh, is a, is an important skill, but also the uh, you know the skills of um, you know emotional skills maybe you might call them being able to deal with uh, you know being separated from your friends and family on Earth the uh, you know isolation although I never really felt all that isolated because you're always with other people um, but there's that aspect to it I guess for some. Um, and then also then, you know, beyond that is all those uh, skills, uh, kind of the hard skills you need to, um, you know, be a crew member on this functioning uh, spaceship, uh, space station, uh, orbiting laboratory. And, and those skills are very varied, whether it's, you know, being the space uh, plumber or the electrician, the IT person, the scientist, the mechanic, the uh, operator of the hardware. Uh, the doctor, the dentist, you know, all these things that I, I've had to uh, perform in space. So, um, you know, it's an environment where if something goes wrong, you can't call for, uh, you know, someone to come up there and help you. You got to do it all on your own. Now, humans have been aiming to land on Mars for decades. Just how far away are we from that actually becoming a reality? I'll quote something my brother says, because this is, he, he came up with this, going to Mars, it's not about rocket science. It's about political science, because that's really what it's going to take. It's going to take a political movement uh, to get the uh, support, the funding, uh, the international cooperation to do this. So it's, uh, you know, it, potentially, you know, it, a few years away, I guess, if you really decided you want to do something uh, like that. But uh, probably uh, the, the reality is it's much further away because of the politics of it. Speaking of funding, there's a lot of activity in the commercial space industry. Do you see this as the best way forward for us to further our exploration in space? You know, I, I think there's a good balance, a good synergy between government and uh, private uh, companies or commercial or, you know, publicly held companies, you know, whatever you want to call them. Um, and, you know, in the case of SpaceX, it's been very successful. NASA um, has been a, a partner of SpaceX. So we helped them with the funding to build a rocket and then a, later a spacecraft to resupply the International Space Station and then also to fly uh, crew members up there. Uh, and by doing these kind of um, partnerships with these companies, I mean, even like Boeing is supposed to, you know, have a capability soon to get to the space station. Um, you know, other uh, companies that uh, resupply it you know, that allows NASA to focus on some other maybe more challenging things like, uh, you know, building a rocket that can, that can someday, uh, hopefully not in the uh, distant future, leave low Earth or orbit so we can do things like you mentioned earlier, like going to Mars. And I'm curious, uh, what was the most uh, interesting or surprising thing you learned from being on the International Space Station? You know, I think the most important thing I learned and that, that kind of surprised me uh, was, you know, we have the capacity to do such uh, incredible things um, in space, on Earth, if, uh, you know, building a space station that is the most complicated, sophisticated thing we've ever built and uh, being able to operate it for 20 years now, practically, um, and, you know, 18 years with people on it and being able to do that, that safely is really a, a, an achievement and a, an example that, you know, if we put our minds to something, if we work together in a cooperative way uh, as a team, we can do anything. And the, uh, you know, and the, the cooperation and, uh, and teamwork and, uh, you know, is something um, that I think is just critical uh, to doing stuff that is really, really challenging.